Everybody. hope you're all doing fantastic out there. I'm really excited because this is one solo that uh, I just think has so much good stuff in it. So if you want tabs for what I'm about to play, that link is down below in the description. Uh, I'm not saying that I know this you know, solo note for note, not missing a semitone or anything like that. Uh, but you know, I think it's, you know, you get the general idea. You can of course check out my free guitar course if you want to, the fretboard decoder. And uh, yo, let's just go in. I'm just gonna one take this thing and uh, whatever happens, happens. And then we're gonna jump to the lesson. You're probably wondering what solo are we learning? <laughs> oh, well you might have guessed it from the beginning. Rosanna, yeah. I'm supposed to have a guitar volume there. Now for the tones, I'm using my trusty Les Paul. I believe Luke was rocking his Les Paul on this one as well, his 59. Uh, into the BE50 Deluxe. Uh, for my delay and reverb, I have the Flashback and Hall of Fame. Into my two notes, into logic, bada bing, bada boom. Now, in this solo, there are so many good things. It's very melodic, there's lots of bending, which I'm trying to get in pitch. I'm having a, <laughs> I'm having a rough time with my bends today. But, um, you know, uh, I, I think that they're good enough. So my main solo tone was this one. Uh, right now I have less distortion. So this is my solo tone. <laughs> that going on and uh, I'll flip back to less distortion. So let's break this down real quick. So basically uh, what happens here is you do a big whoosh slide in and you're gonna go to third fret on the low E string. I think he plays it either three or four times, I can't remember. Can never remember. It's, you know, I I've seen him live. Sometimes he'll play it once, twice. He does what he wants. He's Steve Lukather. So uh, we're gonna go third fret on the low E string. I play it twice, then I go to uh, fifth fret on the D, and I play it twice. But on that second hit, I slide up to seven, and I play seven again. So it's all on the D string. So. Now this part's really cool. It might not do the slide again. You know, I might be adding little bits and pieces to it, but. Um, it's the overall general idea. So you play five on the G, six on the B, twice. Back to that five, then you go to eight on the B. So, so this next little section here, I'm, I watched a bunch of his live videos to see how he was doing this, because some people say he does this, which is a, a very Luke thing to do. You know, he does it up here. But he doesn't do it down here, at least live he doesn't. Uh, in the three videos I watched, he did this. So instead of grabbing that with a pinky bend, which I said we'll get to in a second, it's a you know a lot of people call it the Rosanna bend. Uh, it's really cool what he does, but here he does something different. So he basically bends eight on the B, and then he goes to six on the high E string. Then he grabs that eight again on the B, bends it up, and you hear it fall down. Now here he goes, he goes, which I always play wrong because I want to do, I want to go something like that every time and I, I always play it wrong. But um, he just goes seven on the G and then 10 on the B and eight on the B. So, and then here's what we're all, the bread and butter. This is what we're waiting on, right? So we're going to go like this. Uh, okay, so there's that little run. Now, uh, I see some people slide from 11. I slide from 10, that's what it sounds like to me. But I could be wrong. Uh, 10 slide up to 12 on the A. Then I go 10 hammer on 12 on the D. 10 hammer on 12 on the G. Now here you're gonna go nine, slide up to 10, and then 13 on the B. And then you go 10, 11, 13 on the B. So yeah. Now on the high string you go 10, Hammer on 13, then you go back to 10. 
And then I think you go back to 13 to see. Yeah. So you go, it's basically 10, 13, 10, 13. And then you bend to 13. And then here's where you're kind of picking it while you bend it, pick it, let it come back down, bend it, pick it. So you have. Sorry. So. Then you go. And this part here, I shift my hand up, and I believe Luke does as well. You're gonna go 13, 15, 13, 13. Okay. Now here's that loop bend I was talking about. You bend 15. Now when it's bent, you grab the string while it's bent with your pinky and play it, and basically that gives you an extra half step. Move. So you're going. And another part that I always mess up. When he lets this bend come back down, he does a pull off back to 13, which is the F note. I always pick it. I go. So that little section there would be like this. Hello, and Bob's your uncle. Woo! So uh, other than that, guys, like I said before, you can grab the tabs if you want. Uh, I tried to play it as best I could, and uh, I just thought it, it's a fun solo. You know what? Don't always worry about hitting all the right notes. Just play, have fun, you know, make the notes count. That was the wrong fret. That was the right frets. So until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, there's so many good things tucked away in this solo, and uh, I will be seeing you all later. Peace out, homies. Whoa, that's a bad peace sign. Peace out, homies. Rock on. Oh, guitar high five. I almost messed up. Bam.